So today we'll be unboxing these things. You guys seem to love these videos. I actually don't like these things and I've advised multiple times to not put them on your phone. But hey, you need to protect your lenses, so you think these things may come to the rescue. Well, spoiler alert, they don't. They just break over time and they give you that flare and they reduce the quality of your pictures. So I'm just giving you an iPhone 15 Pro version. Um, I'm also showing you at the end of this video how to remove them and all. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. So first things first, you can buy these things for like $10 on Amazon and uh, you get them in this case. So inside the box, we have the actual lenses. We have this cloth that you need to clean your lenses before putting that protector on it. Um, and that's it. So let's go and remove all the dust that may be on those lenses. You can also wipe them clean and I'm not gonna put this alcohol on them because I just don't like that. Well, after you've cleaned them and it's very important to do so because once you have those protectors on them, you can't clean them, you can't clean them anymore. So make sure to clean them very well and it's actually very easy to do so. And just like that, you have them put on your iPhone. This is the first time I get this device to put the lenses on the iPhone. So it seems like they've improved the application of these lenses, even though the aesthetic doesn't look that good. Look how bumpy that camera bump gets. It's even bigger now. And you get those camera lenses that looks horrible to my opinion. Uh, you guys have asked me to take pictures of stuff to see if that glare is visible. Well, now they're fresh on the iPhone. You won't see that glare because they're new. But over time, they will scratch and eventually um, you will not get that perfect picture from your iPhone. And you might say, well, I care about my, my lenses, so I might just uh, replace them with a new lens protectors. And that's fine. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. You can do so. And you can even protect your iPhone more and reduce that bump back by getting a case around them. So now you have the, that bump extra protected. I've got messages from you guys telling me that, um, yeah, you've just bought a, an expensive iPhone and before you knew it, your actual lens got cracked. So that's something that you don't want to happen. So if you want to go for these lenses, just go ahead and do so. I don't like them. Aesthetically, they don't look very pleasing. So I'm not gonna um, keep them in there. And if you want to remove them, that glue is actually very hard, especially because your fingers are very thick for this area. So it seems like you can't just remove them. Now, there was a subscriber or a viewer that gave me an advice on how to remove them. And it seems like that was the best advice to do so. What you need to remove these things, if you are just like done with them, don't go ahead and remove them with your fingers because it's very hard to do so. You can use a tweezer or a knife, but that's... Uh, that's you might risk scratching the surface just because when you have that tweezer you can just slip and maybe scratch your iPhone 15 Pro and you don't want that to happen so what you need to do is take a floss and it's actually very smart that guy who told me how to do so if you take a, a floss and even now it's actually very hard okay so let me okay so this is one more reason why I don't like these things it's actually very hard to remove them it's it's not I'm not even joking when you see me doing all these efforts to like remove these things I've even put my uh, case on the screen just to protect that screen from scratching. Okay, this is actually very hard. Last time I removed them, it was a lot more easier to do so. Okay guys, so with the floss, it wasn't possible. So I might just go to the tweezer thing. And I hate this because I might scratch that camera bump or even my lens and now I've removed them. So be very careful with this thing with this thing. And better yet, just don't put them on your iPhone. That floss that worked it worked the last time. Maybe it will work for you, but it didn't work for me as you saw there. 
and uh, yeah. So if I can give my opinion on these things, and I have done that many times, I don't like these things just because once you put them there, it's very hard to remove them. You can use that floss method that may work, or you can use a tweezer, but that's a more risky thing to do so because you might just slip and accidentally just scratch the surface of your iPhone. So I hope you guys find this video helpful. Um, yeah, I haven't been posting lately because I'm I'm so busy with other stuff, but I promise you guys there will be more videos coming out. I haven't unboxed these, this new iPhone in front of you just because, like I said, there's way more things happening in my daily life, but I will make time to make videos for you guys. So yeah, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for all the love and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.